Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky. Feel me coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time daily uploads. I really ain't gotta say more. I really ain't gotta say more, bro. Cause you know if you're not here on time, bro. <laughs> Feel me? But it's the holidays, man. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all. Hope y'all doing good. Hope you get all the gifts you want. Hope Santa bring you all the gifts you want. You feel me? Hope he bring you. Hope, hope he bring you. Hope he bring me ten bad bitches. You feel me? But we gonna chill. We gonna chill. We gonna see you on Christmas Day. You feel me? But look, we got a dark man joint. This video is called "Roommate Won't Clean After Herself." This shit is sick and shit, bro. I'm, 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 I'm ready to roast anybody at this point. I'm ready to roast anybody, bro. I'm giving out roasts for Christmas. Y'all niggas better not be extra dirty, bro. That's all I'm going to say. I got my Burger King headset, as you can see. So let's get the video cooking, man. <clears throat> Happy birthday, dear Georgie. <laughs> Georgie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Aww. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Man, y'all my work busy. Y'all always What are you doing standing down. around? Get back to work. Oh, um, sorry, Angela. I mean, Mr. Williams. They were just celebrating me and Nigga. bringing me a cake for my birthday today. Last time I checked, I don't pay you guys by the hour to sit around eating cake. I'm not going to ask again. Bro, calm down, bro. Nigga acting like a weirdo. They're trying to enjoy her birthday, bro. I wouldn't even have came to work. I'd like to see you in my office. Discuss your performance lately. Now. Me personally, I wouldn't let nobody talk to me like that on my birthday. But I do understand you have a job. What? A little birthday fee. No. Fee. Come in. Hey, sweetheart. Sabrina let me in. Oh, hey, Dad. I brought you a little something for your birthday. Oh. Was that a Gucci, a Gucci Thank bracelet? Thank you so much, Dad. Your grandfather gave me this on my 21st birthday, and now I'm giving it to you. Doesn't it look like Stephen Curry? It's almost Dad. 100 years old. Some shit. What's that? A compass? Oh. Nigga, you think she fucking Christopher Columbus? <laughs> bro, imagine this your birthday, bro, and your dad pull out a compass, bro. Oh, it's a watch. It's a watch. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It's a watch. Not just any watch. A it's compass. a very special watch, as you get to see. A compass watch. Do you not like it? Oh, it, it's not that. I, I love it, Dad. Thank you. I just have a lot on my mind right now, that's all. You want to talk about it? Adam canceled our plans tonight. 30 minutes before we were supposed to go out to dinner. I'm sorry. Your boyfriend? Are you sure you sh should be with this guy? That's what I'm saying. I know it's not my place, but you complain about him all the time. You should be with a nigga like me. It seems like he doesn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Yeah, I mean, he has his issues, but I don't know. It's not just him. My boss yelled at me today because I took literally two minutes to celebrate my birthday with some of my coworkers. And then he pulled me aside to his office and he told me, I'm on my last straw. It just hurts, you know? I feel like I'm giving all of myself to this company. I'm literally the hardest working person in that office. Bro, imagine getting fired on your birthday, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's that's like the same level as getting fired on your day off, bro. On your birthday is crazy, bro. You're like, yeah, it's my birthday. You're fired. And then your ass like, I got no job, bro. Your whole day is ruined. Nah, bro. Nah. But he pays me $13 an hour. Minimum wage. It's like whatever I do, he doesn't see my value, you know? Sweetheart, do me a favor. What? After work tomorrow, go buy that pawn shop on MLK and see how much they'll offer you for that watch. That bitch better be a million billion dollars. Wait, why bro. would I do that? This was grandpa's. And you just gave it to me for my birthday. Just do it for me. Let me know how much they offer you, okay? Alright, Dad. I, 
Okay. It's got to be worth like a million dollars, bro. That. Billion dollars, please. So she can go shit on that job or even buy, even buy the company, bro. Hopefully it's, it's... Oh, sorry about the mess. This is all Sabrina's stuff. Does she not clean? If it wasn't for me, this would be like an episode out of Hoarders, okay? She literally doesn't lift a finger. Sabrina. <sighs> so annoying. Where's she at? But anyway, thank you for stopping by and for the gift. I love you, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Thanks. Where's Sabrina, dirty ass? Show me Sabrina. Uh, Sabrina! Did you take my jacket without asking me? It even has a stain on it! Me, personally, I wouldn't allow that. Hey, how can I help you? Yes, I'd like to see how much this watch is worth. All right. Watch out, he trying to finesse okay. you. This nigga eating snacks on the job, look. bro. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I don't got all day. See? Okay, there you go. Hmm. Don't touch it with your dirty, greasy fingers, bro. Hell nah. No. No, that's my granddad's watch, my nigga. My granddad's compass or whatever it is. And you, you over here eating Cheetos. You feel me? You got the cheesy, cheesy fingertips. Licking the mouth, rubbing them on your shirt, and then touching my watch, bro. I would have got, bro. I would have climbed across the counter and slapped you about five times in a row, bro. I would have, I would, I would have hit you with a couple combinations, then I would have hit you with a, a, a signature move, bro. Probably a swanton bomb. You feel me? Don't ever do that, bro. That's mad disrespectful. This man wild, then, bro. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. I'll give you 150 for it. No, definitely not. That's it. My dad said this is a very special watch. It belonged to my grandfather. Special to him? Babe, not here. That's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. Don't take it, bro. This All nigga right. eating in your face and he just touched your Thanks. stuff, bro. Okay, I'm thinking the chocolate lava cake. What do you think? Um. Mm. Yeah, let's skip dessert. I mean, I shouldn't be eating cake, and uh, honestly, we shouldn't either. Nigga, she look great to me. If you don't want her, bro, I'll take it off your hands. Delightfully, my nigga. And her in the back as well, my nigga. I will take both of these women out of your sight immediately, bro. I'll, 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 I'll take care of them. Nigga like me. You feel me? Because you, you hating crazy. I, hey. But it's my birthday. Yesterday was. Not today. Well... We would have been having dinner yesterday had you not canceled on me last second. Are you even listening to me, Adam? Like the other shorties picked Adam, up the table is crazy. You've been on your phone all night. All right, phone's down. What's up? Hi, I'm taking over for Harold. Is there anything that looks good? She a Jew? Yeah, you look sure is. You're not supposed to say that. Oh, <laughs> strawberry cake rag, Georgie? Actually, we'll just take the check. Thanks. Okay, no worries. I can take this for you. Thank you. <laughs> you are not gonna believe this. You know I left my wallet home? I am so sorry, babe. Look, I'm gonna use a can. Uh, I'll be right back, okay? <sighs> this nigga's a demon! Bro, go get the, he finna go get the other shorty number, bro. Hi, Dad. Hey, honey. Everything all right? It's just Adam. I'd rather not talk about it. You need a What's nigga up? named Leek. Did you go to the pawn shop like I asked you? Yeah, they said that they offered me $150 for the watch. I'm kind of surprised it's not worth more. It's not worth more or they didn't offer you more? Um, what's the difference? Tomorrow, after work. Take it to the high-end jewelry shop on Beverly and see what they're willing to offer you. Uh, is there a point to all of this? I, I really don't want to sell it. It's about finding your Plus, value, I'm, bro. I doubt that they'll offer much more. Just take it, please. It'll make sense soon. Sure, Dad. No problem. Look, it's about, it's about... I love you. I love you, too. Call me after you take it. Okay. Bye. Bye, honey. It's, a, it's about the value, guys. I'm finna go ahead and hit you with the life lesson right here. It's about the value. The value. You feel me? 
just like this, just like this. All right, so you bring a 10 from Alabama, right, which is where I live, and you bring her to California. Is she going to be a 10? She's not going to be a 10. If you bring the Cali, if you bring a Cali 5 to Alabama, what is she going to be like a, a 8? It's all about value in different places, guys. You feel me? I had to use the shorties as an example because you know I love the shorties, man. You feel me? No, but that's the that's the life lesson. Happy I'm birthday! Thank you. Of course, enjoy. Is the boyfriend gonna ever come back from the bathroom? Hi there. Oh, hi. Do you guys buy used watches? Yes, we do. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. I got this watch as a birthday present. Supposedly, it's over 100 years old. Do you mind telling me what it's worth? 100 mil. Hmm. I haven't seen one of these in ages. Um, the thing is, it's really difficult to put an exact price on it because these types of watches just don't come around very often. Very Can rare. Can you give me a ballpark of what it's worth? I would be willing to, I'd be willing to offer you $10,000 for it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll hold on to it because it has sentimental value, but thanks for your time. I understand. Um, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. 10,000? Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Would y'all give up the watch for 10,000, bro? Is this the- Hey. Uh, are you cutting your toenails on the table? Yeah. So? <laughs> no, no, no. Me personally, I wouldn't allow that disrespect. Me personally, bro. Me personally, bro. Get your fucking feet off the table. Get your feet off the table, bro. Get your feet off the table, bro. Imagine, imagine you be, imagine every day you wake up, you use that same table. You eat a bowl of cereal. You feel me, nigga? You have now you have toenail flakes in your fucking cereal every day. And you never knew it. No, me personally, cock back with this hand right here. Fah! Whap right across the jaw. You feel me? Okay, that is gross. Okay, I eat on that table. Sabrina, you've been saying that you're going to clean up for weeks. Sabrina. Okay, this is all of your stuff. I know, and I'm going to do it. I've just been, like, super busy. You're not that busy, bro. Busy doing what? Okay, you don't even have a job right now. Exactly. I've been like, really busy looking for a job. <laughs> oh, that's rich. That's a new one. What's this? It says our electric bill wasn't paid. <sighs> it's literally the only utility bill that you're in charge of. And I'm gonna do it. Relax. Nigga, y'all gonna be fucking eating in the dark, bro. What else? What else she do? She ate your leftovers? Oh, hell no. Nah. Did you eat half of my pasta? That was yours? Well, considering that there's only two people that live here, whose else did you think it was? My bad. Did she, she just, was... did she just roll her eyes? Ooh, she, hey, did she just roll her eyes, bro? Me personally, it might be time to get a little violent. It might be time to get a little violent, if you ask me, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. She bad though. Low and key. you just left all the dirty dishes in the sink too? I mean, classic. Kay. I am just trying to watch TV peacefully, but I think I'll go upstairs since you're just picking on me for literally everything. Nigga, you putting uh, your toenails Don't on leave the your toenails there. Sabrina! Sabrina! I would have slapped her. That's just me. That's just me. I don't know how you get down. But me personally, I wouldn't allow that type of disrespect. And I need it personally. Hey, Dad. Hi, honey. Why the long face? 
Oh, nothing. Just roommate drama. Nothing new. Sorry to hear that. So, did you take the watch to the jewelry store like I asked? Yes, I did, and you're not gonna believe it. They offered me 10K for it. <laughs> Way more than the other place. No tell her. He I was tell actually her. thinking about selling it, too, but I didn't have the heart to. Well, I'm glad you didn't, because I have a friend who's a high-end art collector, and he's coming over later today. I think you should show it to him so we can get his opinion on how much he thinks it's worth. <laughs> okay, wait, what's the point of that? Like, I already have a great offer on it, and it's not like I'm going to part ways with it anyway. Nigga, it Just might please. be worth... No, nigga, because if they tell me, bro, it can be, it can be... It can be the last water bottle on earth, my nigga. Last water bottle on earth. They tell me they're giving me five dollars, nigga. I'm giving them the water bottle, bro. I'm sorry. So she a lot, she a lot better than me, bro. I'm giving it up. Quick, give me the money. Money, him. money, money, money. I won't ask you to do it again. I promise. Okay, Dad. I'll come by in a bit. I'll see you soon. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Sweetheart. Hi, Dad. <laughs> did you bring it? I did. Perfect. This is Alfredo, the friend I told you about. <laughs> oh, Fredo. What? Hi. Hi. I understand you have an interesting piece you want to show me. Hmm? Yes. Let's take a look. Mm -mm. Watch is about to be worth ten million dollars. Look at him. Mm -hmm. No. This can't be. It is absolutely marvelous. Do you have any idea how rare this is? See what niggas uh, use? Yes. I actually took it to a store and they offered me 10 grand for it. <laughs> nigga, when a nigga say marvelous, nigga, you know he uh, about to come with some some crazy What's after so that, funny? $10,000. Yeah. My dear, you must not have shown this to anyone that knows the true value of this watch. How much is it worth? Within the day, I could find 10 buyers willing to pay over 100000 Easy. Uh, one hundred? Yes. Oh, yes. No, that that's that's ten times more than what the last person offered me. Well, it's a good thing your dad's friend's a collector knows what it's really worth, hmm? Listen, there are only a few of these left in circulation in the whole world. I'd hang on to it at all costs because a few years from now, it'll be worth double. Thanks, Alfredo. I appreciate you coming by. Thanks, Chicken Alfredo. This nigga just gave you some wisdom. But your dad almost fumbled the bag, bro, because he trying to teach you a valuable lesson. What if you was a 150, you would have gave it away for 150. You would have finessed yourself. You feel me? Trying to teach a valuable lesson, but this finna be worth some millions of dollars. I'm confused. You knew that the watch was worth that much this whole time? Then why'd you have me go and see all these other people? <laughs> Sit down, sweetheart. You see, I wanted you see here you go you to do all of that because I wanted to teach you the same lesson my father taught me. Only the right place can value you the right way. He's for real, bro. I still don't get it. The watch represents you, Georgie. In life, sometimes you're gonna find yourself in the wrong place. For real, for real. And you may be upset because you're not being valued. But the truth is only those who know your worth are capable of appreciating. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Dark Man spitting with it. Dark Man is spitting right now, bro. Damn, get this nigga a Grammy, bro. So Dark Man spitting. Don't with stay this. in a place where someone doesn't see your value. Wait. Are you saying? Your boss doesn't see your value just like the pawn shop did. Your roommate and your boyfriend don't see your value just like. A jewelry store didn't. Precisely. But Alfredo did. So what I'm trying to teach you is your value doesn't decrease based on someone else's inability to see your worth. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're special just like this watch. And you have to go to the right place to find someone who can truly appreciate how special you are. Bro, Dark Man cooking up something crazy, bro. Like James Harden MVP season, bro. He cooking right now, bro. And you feel me? Just to add on to that, bro, because I know a lot of the, the homies watch my videos, bro. Even the girls. Don't let nobody disrespect you, bro. If you know you out here doing what you're supposed to do, you know you out here doing the right thing, you staying prayed up, you know you just overall being a good person, you feel me? Don't let nobody hurt your confidence, bro. Don't let, don't let nobody 
act like you below them or anything like that, bro. You feel me? Don't let nobody disrespect you, man. Feel me? Thanks, Dad. Nice. Now go slap him, slap him. Fuck nigga. And I would have been like, fuck nigga. And he's still looking at cheats. No, don't try to act like you was on her team the whole time. You knew he was looking at them cheeks. Now you wanna, you go girl. No, don't try to. And she's still eating your, see this is disrespect. She's still eating your, your food. I swam over the water. I swam over the water. You found a new man? You in a new crib? Oh, that's the new roommate? Yeah, she cleaning up, as you can see. Taking the bags is great. Nice. I looked him dead in his eyes. Dead in And I said, you can go get it yourself. <laughs> Just no like way. That. No, you didn't. No, I said it. With my chest and all. Okay, I was through with him. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just wonder. You're funny. You're smart. And you are absolutely beautiful. How did I get so lucky to be with a girl like you? Hmm. So sweet. Hey, you're Chad, right? We went to high school together. It's me, Janessa. Uh, yes, hey, how you been? Hi, it's so good to see you. Wow, you look amazing. Um, this is actually my girlfriend, Georgie. Um, we're celebrating her birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Can I get you something? Dessert? Cake, maybe? Actually, I'm okay. You sure? On the house. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to watch my weight. So. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. You are absolutely perfect the way that you are. Look at her. Isn't she, isn't she stunning? I mean, picture perfect. <laughs> oh, <in> love. <laughs> Look, we'll get a... Chocolate lava cake mm -hmm. with one scoop of vanilla. That's our, fa that's our favorite that's cake. What? Oh, you are. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> How are you forgetting it? <laughs> yeah. I hey, love it. Okay, I'll be right back all with right. that guy. Oh, and don't you even reach for that wallet. This is all on me. I got you. Mm -hmm. W man, W man. You smiling so hard. It's nothing. Feels good to be with someone who values me. That's all. I got you. Nice, man. You feel me? He, hey, he low-key just real shorty up. Because now she in love. Just after that, bro. And you know what made her fall in love? The nigga knew her favorite cake to get, bro. It's small stuff like that that will have a girl hooked, bro. Hooked. I'm telling you, bro. Now, I know the girls, they do like to talk a lot. But look, you listen, you pick up on something, and then you bring it back. <laughs> she gonna fall in love, bro. She gonna fall in love. Tell you that's how y'all get them. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And what I'm gonna do, catch you in the next video. Bye.